Welcome back to Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings, and welcome to the fourth campaign, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. The nomadic tribes of the Asian steppes spent centuries entangled in their own petty feuds until united under Genghis Khan. Within years, a highly disciplined army pulls out of Mongolia to embark on a campaign of world conquest. But how can a tribe of horse archers possibly overcome the military might of Persia and Eastern Europe, let alone the technologically advanced empires in China? Let's start with the first scenario, Crucible. A blue wolf took as his spouse a fallow doe. They settled at the head of the Onan River to raise their offspring, and there were born the Mongols. So begins my life's work, the secret history of the Mongols. I have been selected to compose this epic because great events are about to take place. We are going to leave Mongolia. I have lived always on this frigid, dry, and endless steppe. The tribes here squabble like vultures, fighting over the desiccated corpse of a marmot. We fight over limited resources, scarce water, few trees, sparse grass for our herds to graze on. A wise and dangerous man named Timuchin means to change all this. He says that if the tribal conflict is to end, the Mongols require but two things. First, we need green pastures for our herds. With more to go around, there will be less competition among the tribes. Second, we are a nation of warriors. We need a common enemy with which to do battle. To meet both these needs, Temuchin has come up with the most modest of schemes. To unite the tribes and go to war with anyone who stands in our path. How, we ask him. How can nomadic horsemen in felt tents embark on a campaign of world conquest? Temuchun replies that we will fight not as warriors, but as a unified army. We fight not for our glory, but for the glory of Mongolia. And with those words, the name of Temuchin has passed almost into obscurity. His name is replaced with a title, Great Khan, Genghis Khan. And here we go. Let's wait for instructions. And behold the horde. Behold, the horde of Genghis Khan approaches. We're running into these outposts here. You men, you will visit each of the outlying tribes. You must convince as many as you can to join our glorious army. But beware the Karakitai, they are without honor. Alright, let's do it. We do have various tribes here. We want to convince all of them to join us and form a glorious Mongol horde, or an even larger Mongol horde, I guess. Let's visit these guys here right away. They're fairly close. These are the Ungirats. They're already allied, but. We have to convince them to join force with us in full. Look at that, fancy tents. We will follow you if you can prove to us that you are favored by the gods. Bring to us a holy relic. All right, we've got our first quest here. This map here is somewhat RPG-ish. So let's continue to the next guys. Maybe, maybe these ones here and see. Ooh, look at that, it's sheep. Uh, the sheep is actually fairly important, so let's take you along. There's a reason why we want you. And let's check out what these guys here demand. Yeah, spoilers, everyone wants something in return for their loyalty. Otherwise, it would just be clicking around the map. Winter has been hard and our warriors are hungry. Bring us 20 sheep and we will join you. If you are injured, our monks can heal. Okay. That sounds good. So let's bring them some sheep. We already have some sheep here. But we're going to bring them much more. We need 20. We have 6 here. Let's just have a look around. We want to explore the map anyway because we need to check out what those other tribes here demand. And now they are blue. She actually, does this count? Or were these just taken over? I don't think they were because... Oh, these are allies and they shouldn't take your sheep, should they? 
No, these seem to be in their possession now. These monks are actually kind of important. We get them later. And since these guys here will want a relic, we need uh, monks anyway, because otherwise we won't be able to to carry that relic, because horsemen don't carry relics. Look at that, more sheep. Nice, nice. Let's send you over here then. Can we cross here? Or is this cut off? Let's see. Oh, and here are the bad guys. The Karakitai. And they hold some sheep hostage. Okay, let's kill you. Thankfully, these archers aren't super useful. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to lose anyone just yet. There we go. And let's take all the sheep. Oh, some sheep actually got injured. How did that happen? Never mind. Let's take all of you and send you to our to be allies here. Let's check out our objectives. You want to bring a relic to these guys here. And how many more sheep do we actually need? These are... I think we, we got four more there. So th this might actually be the amount of sheep we need. There's more here as well. I think the, the main quest here is, is supposed to be you beating those guys for their sheep. Oh, there's even more sheep. Okay. This should really do it now, I hope. But let's see. We may as well return here so we get some healing. Of course, we don't want to lose any units just yet, even though this scenario isn't too challenging. There we go. Healing, please. That's appreciated. What do we even get here? Cavalry archers. That's nice. So let's wait whether this is enough. It probably is, but let's see. Okay. These ones here don't change their ownership, but okay. Providing you with these soldiers. That's good to know. We get some more cavalry archers here, and we also get monks. That's nice. So we have doubled our strengths here, and we can now heal our units on the fly. So let's check out what these guys here want. And let's go down here. Actually, maybe maybe let's keep an eye on what happens down here because there's a good chance that we will run into more enemies. And did we... Yeah, so these guys here still want their relic. Then we also have to talk to these guys here. The Naiman and the Uyghurs. We'll get to that in time. For now, let's check out what these guys want, since we're already here anyway. And then we should also check out this corner because there could be important stuff there. The Naiman are our enemy. If you drive them from the steps, then and only then will we join you. Okay. So these guys, wait a second. These guys here were the enemies. Okay, we can do that. Hmm. How many guys do you have here? So these guys here have light cavalry. Let's let's see what we do what we do with that. And there's also more sheep, but that's not too important right now. I don't think we need any more sheep for any other quests. There we go. Yeah, you can just stay here. I don't think you have any more purpose beyond this. Can we get over here? Yeah, I guess we could have crossed here. Yeah, I want to check out what's in the corner because there could be something important. Either maybe extra units or that relic. We'll see about that. There's also some unexplored territory here, but that's that's not too big of a deal. We're going to get to that. Monks, you can just kind of follow us. You'll fall behind a little bit, but we'll be fine. You keep in your nice formation here. And everything's going to be fine. Please get over here. So can can we even enter this this strip of land here? Uh, yeah, there's a crossing here. So let's see what surprises await us here. 
It could just be empty. But I don't want to risk missing out on important stuff. And while we're in this corner here we may as well check out what we have here. Naturally our... As a Mongolians we will have access to cavalry archers. And once we have reunited all the tribes we're going to conquer the rest of the world. Or at least large chunks of Eurasia. Let's put it that way. So... Monks can follow me. Is there really nothing here? That's disappointing. But okay. Oh, there is. More of these guys. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, oh, damn. Okay, let's kill you as well. I guess I could have stolen some of these guys here. Oh, well. I guess that, that was okay, wasn't it? Not great, but better than nothing. So they do have... They do have a monastery here. Does that contain a relic? That's the question. I guess we're just going to blow it up while we while these monks here healed us anyway. I guess we you know, can't can't convert that building. I guess we're going to be here for a while. But what we want to heal up anyway. And we may as well see whether there's a relic hidden hidden in here. Yeah, this is going to take a bit, but it's okay. Let's check out. So, what's their path here? You know, this looks cut off, so we probably have to cross the river here. And then we can check out the pink guys. And these were the guys we were supposed to kill. But knowing this being a video game, they probably asked us to kill the other guys. So, but let's see about that when we get to it. Maybe I should have tried to, to mind control some of these guys here. Well, it's too late now. You know what? Since you don't really deal much damage against the buildings anyway, you may as well explore the rest of this corner here. We'll be at We've got some cliffs here. It's always interesting. Let's check out what's here. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything of true interest. How far are we done here? Almost there. Well, it looks like we can't even get up those cliffs, so never mind. Okay. A little bit more. I guess we do get more melee fighters later, but since we're here right now, we may as well blow this up. And... Boom. No holy, holy relic. Oh, there is one. I almost overlooked that. There we go. Awesome. So we did pick up a relic and we were, were supposed to... Oh, wait. No, these were the... These were the sheep guys. These are the... The other guys. These guys look pretty cool with their with their black horses and the, the grey colour here. It's a nice combination. So you walk over there, magically carrying this artifact here. We're going to check out these guys in the meantime and see whether they tell us to kill the other guys. Well, because the monks are kind of slow anyway. So we may as well wait with that. I'm going to keep an eye on these guys here because there could be more enemies between us and and those guys and yeah those guys are still on their way i guess there could also be other guys here but I've, i think i've cleared out that area for the most part let's hope we have because we we didn't get any more monks we're probably going to get more monks here but the problem with that is of course that that we'll have to there we go oh damn oh wow you completely missed here how about we get in really close and then we're going to kill this. No, there's towers here, but we just want to get rid of these guys here before we do anything else. And let's get out of tower range. Man, we should really try to ally with these guys here because they're clearly the strongest faction on the map. So where are my monks? On their way, almost there. So let's maybe keep an eye on these guys here because there could be more ambushes. I guess the other guys don't have honor, so the magical Asian honor. Can't have a video game without that, if it features Asian characters. Unless it's, it's made in Asia, then probably not. We are at war with the Taichus. Destroy their camp and we will join you. Okay, so these guys give me more cavalry archers, obviously, and the other guys give me more... What did these guys have exactly? Light cavalry. Hmm. I think I'm going to murder the other guys here. 
and you join us here. You have done well in bringing to us this artifact. We will ride with the great Khan. Awesome. Will you join us here as well? Wait a second. That's not everyone. Can I convert these guys here? I wonder whether I can like declare one these guys here and then mind control them, but I I don't think it's going to be necessary. You of course go straight through this territory here. Okay, I guess it's on now. Just ride through here and ignore everyone. Where did those horsemen go that were lurking around here? Oh never mind. Let's just join up and then we can can wipe out green. Let's just briefly heal up to minimize our losses. Oh, at least you're going to heal me. That's nice. And even this guy is coming over here. Nice, nice. Almost there. Okay, time to get over here and murder green. Let's hope we don't have to burn down the... the uh, actual camp because that's just going to take forever with our units unless these new guys here what was what were they called i can barely see my own units on the map here because it's just they're just too orange they were called mangudai okay i guess that's um, um a unique unit for the civilization here that would be fitting i wonder can I actually just force attack on these guys here without... I don't think I can. I think I can only do that with, with ground units. Anyway, so these guys were the... Taichuts. Okay, we can we can do that. Alright. Uh, Let's... That's not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. So you're my enemies now. Well, time for you to die. You can change your diplomatic stance, that's not going to save you. Maybe I should have brought my monks over here just to heal them, but that's okay. Okay, so these guys resigned. I guess that does mean that, that they count as defeated. So what we're going to do here is we're going to send you up here. Just so... We can confirm whether or not we need to really burn down everything here. And let's see, did this change? Uh, I guess it doesn't really say anything, but that's fine. Awesome. So you can burn this down just in case. Because if you go north first with everyone, then we probably have to... Okay, where's that other guy? Oh, there you are. Then we'll have to go, go down south again. We, we don't want that if we can avoid it. You can come over here and heal the rest of my guys. While we're at it. Oh, so these guys here are super archers. Okay, got it. How much stronger are they? They have more hit points. Maybe there's, there's special upgrades for them. We shall see about that. Okay, so we got some gold. Does it have any meaning on this map here? We shall see. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we need to get over to these guys. So let's do that. But I'm going to burn this down just because. Awesome. Let's get over here. That's going to take a while, but that's okay. And then let's see. Actually, we can already get over here with these guys here, just to see what the deal is. Maybe they they will tell us to like go south anyway. But there could also be obstacles in the way, so let's be a bit more careful here. Don't mind me, I'm just traveling through the step. These guys here have camels. Okay, that's nice. Because everybody has cavalry, so these are nice to have. You must from this alliance. There is a great wolf, Ornlu, whose pack has been attacking our flocks. Slay him and we will join your horde. 
Okay. I suppose we can do that. Let's call everyone in here. You guys here. You can just come over here. Let's see. Maybe don't ride right past these towers yet. It's, it's not really necessary that you get yourself hurt here again. And it doesn't tell me where that wolf could be, but that's okay. It's probably... Let's just check out this area here first, and let's see. So there's my re there are my reinforcements. Nice, nice. Oh, this is just a river, so never mind. Let's cross it, because they'll have to do something with this part of the map, don't they? Let's see whether you can find that wolf that's apparently so powerful that these guys can't just slay it, despite having horse archers and stuff. But that's okay, I'll, I'll do it. It's not like anyone here is going to join me for free. Okay. Is there anything here, actually? We shall see. Let's have you come over here and join us. And you just scout a little bit more. I suppose I could send multiple troops out, but I uh, can't be bothered with that right now. And you can come over here, I suppose. Okay. Looks like this wasn't the right corner. Let's maybe check the north after we check out this this area here. Even though I doubt the wolf is there. And... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let, let's just check out what, what they have around their base. The, I guess that wolf's just in the corner, so... They do have a nice nice amount of... I know these aren't actually pitchforks, these like effigies or whatever those are. What do you have here? It's all cavalry archers and camels. I guess... Maybe don't have knights, I guess... Like, gothic plate armor doesn't really seem to be the right choice for these guys here, but who knows. Okay, and it's just dense, dense forest. That seems to be the right right place for wolves then, even though it seems to be so dense that we can't actually do anything here. But let's see. Oh, there's some skeletons. Well, that looks promising, doesn't it? Very promising indeed. Oh, even more skeletons. Yep, I think we're on the right track here. Maybe we should have brought our monks along, but then again, in combat healing isn't really all that efficient anyway, so... I guess... Wow, this guy here has, has to have eaten the majority of your tribe. No wonder you want this guy here dead. So that's just a generic wolf. Okay, we can, we can deal with you. So these are just generic wolves. I guess it's, it's not really surprising that there's more than one, one wolf here. And these wolves are fairly powerful, actually. We're I mean, not too powerful, but wait a second. Oh, you are the great wolf. Okay, that explains it. Well, there we go. The wolf is dead, and so are all his fellow wolves. So let's return. Even though we're technically already here, but maybe you have to have to get your cavalry over there, not just some monks. It would be nice for these guys here had mounted monks. But the civilizations aren't that different. We'll have to wait until Age of Empires 3 for that. Oh hey, you're still what were you still doing there? Well, never mind. Yes, that is the pelt of the great wolf. We will join you again, Scar. And to seal the agreement, we will give you the gift of flaming arrows. Four Mongol tribes now follow the banner of Genghis Khan. The rest of the world will soon know true fear. That's okay. Awesome. See you next time. Nearly all of the Mongol tribes have united under the great Khan. The chieftains of those tribes reluctant to join were boiled alive. Each day new faces have taken up the bow. Unfamiliar hands hold the nine bands of yak hair that has become Genghis's standard. There are more men and horses gathered in the camp than I ever knew existed. Horse archers and lancers, men in leather cuirass and silk armor, all lift their heads upward to the platform from where Genghis speaks. 
The great Khan calls himself the punishment of God. Men smile like hungry wolves. It is dawn of the first day of the Mongolian Empire. <laughs>